think they were facing a higher inflation, you know, in the cycle sort of of last year. And so that's why they engaged in pretty aggressive, you know, monetary tightening. And that has had an effect on the growth outcomes of EMs, you know, in the first half of this year, which have been underwhelming to say the least. Um, but I would actually look at just where markets are priced. Again, EM central banks or central banks in general will you know, raise policy rates or cut policy rates according to the inflation outlook. But markets are forward looking. And I do think we've seen the peak in sort of five year or forward looking interest rates in a number of EMs. That does set up a fairly accommodative cycle. Uh, equity markets in places like Brazil, I think, have bottomed and are rallying. We think you can you can pursue opportunities there. Again, whether that's outright going long, you know, Brazilian equities or relative to other EMs that face a little bit more headwinds like a Mexico or a Korea, for example. All right. So potential tactical upside uh, with regards to uh, Brazil. Uh, I got to ask you, Elena, we can't talk about EM and not talk about China. How do you feel about uh, uh, Chinese debt? Yeah, so this is, of course, a, a massive issue. And, and, and what, uh, you know, the question is quite interesting. We, we can't talk about EM without talking about China. I think, you know, you can't talk about any economy or the global outlook without talking about China. And so sort of, you know, maybe an obvious to th thing to say, but quite an important thing to say is we really think investors should be looking at EM as an EM ex China mandate. That's not to say China doesn't matter. It's actually to say China deserves its own mandate, its own investment case, and China matters a lot for the outlook in Europe, Japan, and elsewhere. So again, our view is EM X China is more plugged into the inflation and rate outlook, which we have a little bit more confidence in, in pockets. On China, our, our Asia team is somewhat constructive over the medium to long term. Again, I think there's some near near term headwinds there, but after party Congress, perhaps things open up and, and actually it's a quite attractive long term case. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.